Partnership Tax General Concepts Problem 3. Tropical Fruit Partnership is a calendar year general partnership with the following. Operating loss of $300,000. Liabilities. Notes payable to Big Bank, $30,000. Notes payable to Pineapple and Individual, $20,000. On January 1st, Coconut bought 60% of Tropical Fruit Partnership for $45,000. How much of the operating loss may Coconut deduct currently? This question is focusing on operating loss and how much the specific partner Coconut can deduct currently. We're told that Tropical Fruit Partnership has a total operating loss for the year of $300,000. We're also told that Coconut bought 60% of Tropical Fruit Partnership. And we're not told anything else in the problem about how the profits or losses are allocated specifically. Partnerships are entities tax as partnerships under the federal tax law. They allow for extreme flexibility. You can do all sorts of weird things and crazy flexible things. That's one of the biggest benefits of being an entity tax as a partnership like an LLC, for example. You can contribute money one way. You can allocate income losses another way. You can, income, you can allocate certain items of income, certain items of losses within um, or deductions, I should say, within, of course, certain limitations or, or within bounds. You can't just give all the losses to one partner and all the income to another. It has to economically um, make sure that it, it follows that under the economics. But the idea is that there's a, there's tremendous flexibility. This problem, we're not told anything unique. We're just told that the ownership percentage. So whenever you're given a problem about partnership tax, you assume, unless you're told otherwise, that you're going to allocate income and losses based or income and deductions which result in losses deductions losses you're going to allocate them based on the ownership percentage again you might be told the profit loss um uh, the capital percentage all these different things we're just told that coconut bought 60 percent we're not told anything else and when you're told something like that no other information you're going to use that information so we're going to take the three hundred thousand dollar loss that's given total and we're going to multiply that by 60 percent and that's going to equal $180,000. So that is the possible amount of loss that Coconut can take currently this year. That's what we mean by currently. We mean in the current tax year. Now, many of you are saying, well, isn't that the answer? You just take 60% of $300,000? That is where you start. So step one, start by taking the percentage of the loss, the loss percentage, which again here is a 60% as we just discussed. You multiply that and get that number from the partnership. So 180,000 is the possible loss that can be taken. So that is step one. Step two, we have to look at limits. Specifically, we're focusing on the basis limit that you're gonna see when you compare partnership versus S corporation. So partnership versus S corporation, one of the big differences in being a partnership versus S corporation from tax standpoint is that partnerships, you get to add in liabilities the, into the basis, the partner's share of liabilities, whether or not it's personally loaned by that partner. S corporation, that is not the case. S corporation, you do not do that. The only time we add in liabilities into the mix for determining the loss is we're going to take into account the liabilities that that specific owner, that specific corporate shareholder has loaned personally to the corporation and we even keep it separate from the initial basis of the ownership. So for the partnership, which is what we have here, we're going to include all liabilities, all liabilities attributable to that partner, attributable to the partner at issue in the basis, okay, attributable to the partner and we're going to include that in the basis in the adjusted basis or the basis of the ownership, which is the um, the ownership and the partnership interest. The way we do that is we take the amount that was paid. So here, you start when the partner joins the partnership, they paid $45,000. So we're gonna start, our starting point is the initial capital. So the capital put in, which here we're told, on January 1st of this year, Coconut bought 60% of fruit partnership, tropical fruit partnership for $45,000. So we start there. We then are going to add, because this is the first year for Coconut, we're going to add the portion attributable to any liabilities. Well, we're told here that there's two liabilities. There's the note payable to Big Bank and there's the pineapple. We're going to add both of those together. There's $50,000 total of liabilities. What we're going to do is we're going to take into account, again, the liabilities, the share of that that's attributable to the partner, as I just mentioned. 
And the way we calculate that, we're going to take the $50,000 total of liabilities. So we're going to take the total liabilities, $50,000, and we're going to multiply that by the percentage ownership. Now, in more advanced partnership, you're going to use profit versus loss ratios and things like that, depending on whether it's recourse versus non-recourse. But in a basic general concept, just use that ownership percentage, which here is 60%. So 50,000 times 60% equals $30,000. $30,000. So we go ahead and we take that into account. So the adjusted basis at the end of the year in Coconut's partnership interest is $75,000. $75,000. So that means that the $180,000, which again was our step one, step one, calculate Coconut share of the loss, 180000 okay? Step two, it's limited to the adjusted basis. We limit to the adjusted basis, okay? We limit to the adjusted basis of 75000 So that means that only $75,000 of the $180,000 amount can be taken this year, currently, okay? Only $75,000. Now, so that's, what, that's the answer. How much of the operating loss may Coconut deduct currently? The answer is 75000 currently this year. $75,000 of loss. The remaining $105,000 of loss, right? $108,000 minus $75,000 that you can take. The remaining $105,000 of loss, it carries over to next year where you consider the adjusted basis that Coconut has. So if the partnership, if the Coconut contributes more money or more liabilities come into play or partnership has income, then that loss carries over and it keeps going until Coconut leaves the partnership basically each year until eventually Coconut can get that, that full portion depending on when the basis increases up. Now there's other limitations here, but this is the biggest limitation to consider. And it's definitely something important when you're considering partnership versus S corporation. So again, to stress, step one, we calculate the loss based on the ownership percentage. Step two, we calculate the adjusted basis, which we did here was $75,000. Step three, we then are going to limit it to that adjusted base of 75000 And step four, the remaining $105,000, right? Because 75000 loss is allowed this year. Remaining $105,000 of loss carries over next year where we do the same computation next year. And hopefully the basis goes up through income, contributions, more uh, liabilities. So that can be taken in the future.